Hey you guys, what's up? Long time no see. We are back today for a vending collection video. It's our first time that we're gonna go around to a few of our vending, a few of our vending locations and collect some quarters, hopefully a lot of them. Uh, we're gonna take you guys through it. It's pretty early, it's my voice is a little bit coarse, but it's early for us, but yeah, we're gonna go around and take you guys with us and see how many quarters we collect and you know, see what happens. All right, what up you guys? So I just serviced the first location of the day. It was a car place, it was a Midas, where like, you know, you take your car or whatever. The, lo the location's pretty good. The machine is placed like in the waiting area. So there's just a bunch of chairs, then my machine, then a big snack machine. So we're obviously we're running gumballs, so it's not really comp competing with the snack machine, but pulled about, I don't know, I didn't count exactly, but I would estimate probably like 25, 27 bucks probably-ish, I don't know. I'm, we're gonna count it up when we get home, but yeah, that was, at, that was after like a seven, eight week cycle. So not super happy with it, but I mean, like I said, as long as, um, you know, as long as it's pulling a few bucks a day or a few bucks a month, I mean, and you don't really have to check it often, it's not really, you know, a bad location. Also, note, to note, um, the manager or, you know, the owner or whatever, the person on location is super nice. So that makes it even better. You know, I'd rather have a really nice, you know, uh, manager owner to deal, to deal with and make a few less dollars than to have, you know, walk into a location and have some super grumpy or, you know, get your machine kicked out of there, whatever. This guy was super nice. So it's honestly just a breeze. It's pretty close to our house too. It's right down the, kind of like a few miles down the road. So as long as, um, you know, this location, as long as the guy's cool with it being there or whatever, I'll probably stretch out the collection period to like 12 weeks or whatever, just so, you know, give it a little bit more time. But yeah, machine was in good shape, uh, decent amount of money and on to the next one. All right, you guys, so we just checked location number two. It's on South Beach in Miami, and it's a pizzeria type place. It's like a takeout place. So we thought, you know, good things about this location, and it turned out to be even better. The location was literally almost completely out of gumballs from the top, so that's probably at least, probably 40 bucks worth of quarters in there. So really happy about this one. I'm definitely gonna, you know, do what we can to keep this location as long as possible. Staff was super nice in there too, which is always a plus. So yeah, we're happy about this one. On to the, on to the next location, here we go. All right, guys, so we just checked location number three. This location is like a little hair salon. Um, it seems like kind of low traffic. I think they do nails there too. And it actually has another gumball machine there, but we pulled probably another $16 from that one. So decently happy about it. And uh, yeah, the locations, like I said, there's another gumball machine there. Our gumball machine is actually newer though. And we have kind of, you know, fresher looking gumballs. So even if you get a location with another machine there, you know, let the competition be on and, you know, make your machine look better, present it better, and you know, there's there's enough there's enough money, there's enough quarters to go around for everybody. Alright you guys, the last location that we collected for for the stay is a little pizzeria. It's right down the street from our house. With this location we got a little bit later in the in our route, so it wasn't that full, but I'd probably say 11 bucks maybe or so. Um, this location happened to be one of those locations that there's just no room, so they kind of forced us to put our gumball machine like tucked underneath this little area. So it's not an ideal location, but luckily they didn't refuse it when we you know delivered the machine there. So to you know take the go with the bat, it's right down the street, so like we can literally walk there. I always like walk the dog past there to check on it and everything. So um, yeah, not not a really high performing location because of 
the lack of area if there was like a nice you know foyer and walkway that would have been a lot better obviously um those of you that live in like suburban areas uh you're very lucky because when i lived in wisconsin there's tons of more you know where you walk into a business there's like a little area in between the doorway outside the doorway inside that's where a perfect little spot for the machines are here in miami there's like no room because it's just a really busy area so you're kind of tucking your machine wherever you know the manager or owner wants you to put it so again you gotta you know take the go with the bat and you know just make it work but yeah that's our last location of the day so i'll talk to you guys when we get home and you know recap you know what happened today all right you guys so we just finished collecting from the four locations that we brought you along with and overall i would say it was a pretty good haul we ended up with right around 130 dollars so if you divide that by four locations that's right around 30 bucks a location and this was about like an eight week uh collection period so the average is about 15 bucks a month, which is a little bit under what I would like to have a machine to do. But remember, these are gumball only machines, single head gumball only, only machines. So you might not get as many sales, I guess, as if you had like a triple head machine with like Mike and Ike's peanut m and and gumballs. But the cool thing is, is that with gumballs, they last forever. So you can really stretch out the um, collection period. So if we wanted to, we could have waited 16 weeks or 18 weeks, which is what we're gonna do from now on to collect it. So you really don't have to collect um, that many times a year, which saves on gas and your time and everything else. So even if it's 15 bucks a month, that's not bad. I mean, after a year, that's, what is that, 15 times 12? You know, around 125, 140 bucks a year. So per location, so that's not bad. Um, overall, I think that our route's doing pretty good. We're gonna put a hold on probably growing our route. We have around, I think we have six locations right now. We're gonna not grow it anymore until um, after the fourth quarter, because as you guys know from my other videos, I run a pretty successful e-commerce company and right now is the fourth quarter of Christmas time and this is when we get really, really busy with Black Friday and everything. So the gumball machine business is going to be kind of put on hold, which is fine. It's kind of like a passive thing anyway on the side, but um, we're going to work on the e-commerce stuff for right now. Maybe in Q1, we're going to get really back into vending when we have more time. But for now, um, it was fun to see go around the route and you know shake hands with the owners, managers, and everything, see everybody collect a bunch of quarters and refill the machines, make sure everything's working good. So all right, you guys, thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it. Um, leave any questions you have below, um, any you know suggestions for future vlogs or videos. I'm gonna probably be posting more about e-commerce stuff soon here just because it is the fourth quarter and a lot of people are you know wondering about how to make money online um, by selling stuff in this time of year. But if you want any other vending machine, um, vending business you know related videos, let me know. Please follow me on Instagram at Benji. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.